Hello, every folks, and good morning. All right, so we got 1.05. It's uh, it's finally here. Um, so this took a little bit of a while to show up, but uh, yeah, we got another patch. So that's all well and dandy. Let's look at the patch notes. So officially, it says that there's stability improvements during long play sessions, which would be fantastic uh, to uh, hopefully not crash anymore. Um, bug fixes to address the game freezes when repeatedly using the chariot tarot. I heard a few folks complaining about that, but I kind of thought that was a bit more of a niche thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so added support for systems with multiple display adapters. I'm uh, going to be curious to test that out pretty soon uh, with the uh, new Thinky Brick. Um, all right, corrected description uh, text for new Zenobia, which very oddly specific. Actually, what does that say at this point? Um, let's go ahead and take a quick peek because I was originally going to go down the skills because, as always, they're quite vague uh, when it comes to... Um, does actually say New Zenobia, or just Zenobia for this one? Uh, let's see, uh, Zenobians hail from the kingdom of New Zenobia on the continent of Zygenia, which, all well and good, but, uh, does anyone technically have New Zenobia in this? I mean, they should be the New Zenobians. I don't know, apparently something got fixed there. Truth be told, I never bothered to check that one in particular, but anyway, moving on. Um, okay. So, uh, fixed several text issues in English, French, and simplified ch uh, Chinese uh, translations, and various minor bug fixes and general stability improvements, which at this point, that one is so vague that I've been joking that, uh, I mean, you, you know that whole line uh, from Vice about insects being trampled underfoot? Maybe they're just like low-key, just improving the resolution of that text every time that comes up. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what uh, actually is noticeably improved is since last time, since I'm assuming they're still technically going through the... Um, uh, just kind of like through the little background stuff to try to fix a lot of the more like stability oriented stuff before we get some of the uh, more obvious fixes. Like, for example, we were, uh, to this point, we're still technically waiting on um, on updates to, like, basically clarification on, if we go to the armor here, like, whether the whole uh, uh, right arm uh, defense value thing is relevant uh, or is intense, uh, kind of intended or not. As I understand, uh, Recession actually went through and uh, tested this whole situation. Apparently, it is still functioning as before. Um, I haven't personally gone through and tested this just yet, but for those unaware, it is a minor thing where, in certain cases, uh, your kind of uh, the, your right arm weapon will be. Uh, I say in certain cases, but basically your right arm weapon determines the type of uh, physical uh, uh, modifier that you use. So, for example, in this case, because he is using a spear, uh, he would essentially be 9% resistant to pierce uh, damage. That is to say he is 9% resistant to physical damage, as opposed to using, like, for example, if he is attacked by a pierce, you know, you would think there would be like, oh, he's 9% resistant to pierce but 11% resistant to slash. Instead, it would just be like, well, he is using a spear, therefore he is 9% uh, resistant to physical damage. Again, this is just kind of a whole thing. That part, is, it's unclear whether that was an unintended feature or a actual bug. Um, in terms of the elemental resistances, this turned out not to be a bug, it's just a little bit confusing. So in terms of the elemental resistances, it works a little bit like this, that uh, you have a particular armor type. If you are weak to a particular thing, equipping its strong opposing element will give you defense against it. So for example, if uh, Mr. Potato here uh, was a lightning element, right? I believe he originally was when I... Like, I'm using this Falcon Mail on him for the 16% uh, uh, anti-people uh, resistance. But, um, like, let's say he was running a lightning element, and he was afraid of being hit by an earth attack for that 30% bonus damage. In the case of, um, in the case of being hit uh, by, a, uh, uh, by a lightning attack... Uh, he would then, um, uh, he would essentially then equip a, uh, uh, equip some wind armor here to then give him, um, uh, give him a element that is going to give him earth resistance, um, basically earth, which beats lightning, which is the thing he would be weak to. Like, it's a whole song and dance with figuring out all that, and, I mean, that part, it does follow the logic of the game, so that is not a bug, but the part that was believed to be a bug is that technically a resistance is not like a universal resistance. Technically, it's just if you are critically weak, like if your actual like defenses are breached by, uh, by taking advantage of that uh, weakness, that is when that uh, will go ahead and activate. So technically speaking, it's more of a case of you want to stack 30% here. Uh, so for example, this would be 17%, but you want to stack 30% in order to give yourself a defense against that particular thing to cover that gap in your weakness. And other than that, it isn't doing anything extra. People assumed that this was bugged because the PSP version uh, essentially was using this in both directions. 
So like every every time that they've had a resistance system in this game, it's worked a little differently. Um, like the classic version was basically just flat, like you resist the element that that thing has. Um, in this particular case, it is it's essentially kind of counteracting the thing that it's strong against, which again, logically makes sense. It's just like it it takes a bit of a second to get used to. Um, it's definitely one of those things that's more confusing than actually bugged, but again, it only activates in a case where you are personally directly weak against that uh, that exact thing. So, what, again, whether that's bugged or a feature is unclear. Anyway, moving on, though, what I have noticed uh, going through all of these uh, is uh, when um, uh, when Recession was going through and testing the kind of more mechanical side of things, uh, he mentioned that uh, stuff like uh, Coquettish Kiss ended up getting updated, and so did Virtuous Dance, uh, to have um, uh, to basically have updated task, uh, text uh, saying that they, you know, do a certain type of uh, a certain type of damage, namely it is technically classed as dark. Though it is still a set amount of damage. Um, I mean, personally, I still think it's a flavor thing, but the the text was changed, like he was pointing out, to uh, to be the same as all other damage type moves. So, who knows? Either way, I still see it as a uh, as a bit of a unintended feature, or, or rather, as a bit of a backup feature, because essentially, virtuous dance charms enemies, but also uncharms your own units. So that's handy. But there were a lot of uh, descriptions for a lot of skills that did properly get updated, thankfully. Um, basically, there were several that were just straight up wrong before. So, for example, the Slayer skills used to say melee and uh, just exclusively melee attacks. Now they properly are, uh, are saying that they cause physical attacks versus that particular unit uh, to hit with 100% accuracy, meaning that they do apply to ranged attacks. Same thing for Dragon's Bane, uh, which uh, is, again, correctly saying melee damage. Uh, you know, to uh, to properly reflect that it is only melee for Bane, but it is for everything when it comes to Dragon Slayer. Uh, Double Shot appears to have been updated uh, that um, uh, that it mentions the range limitation. Uh, so uh, Double Shot has a quirk where it will not fire if it's without uh, kind of outside of range. Thankfully, though, it doesn't burn your Double Shot anymore if you do try to take a regular shot using this. But just so you're aware, uh, like it, it's not allowed to fire outside of range. Um, in terms of uh, some other ones here, um, again, all Slayer and Bane skills seem to have been updated. Um, let's see, that appears to be the same. I did notice a few other kind of small things here and there, like for example, uh, Quick Draw uh, ended up getting updated. Uh, so Quick Draw over here correctly says that it's uh, going to preempt ranged attacks with attacks of your own. So uh, before it used to say melee or ranged, uh, that's corrected now. Um, Actually, I wonder if uh, any kind of updates were done to weapons and things, because I feel like specifically stuff like the Daedalus, uh, is that still the same? I feel like that's the same. Um, I haven't seen any direct updates balance-wise, but uh, then again, you know, we never know. Uh, stuff may always be a little bit different here, there, or wherever. Um, additionally, it doesn't actually mention anything when it comes to the shots. Uh, let's see... Explosive charge and beautiful with whatever deals crushing type damage, which again isn't really super relevant when it comes to the whole armor thing. Um, does it mention that it scales with skill? I doubt that it will. Yeah, no, it 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 doesn't. Um, oh, uh, there were some that got correctly updated too, like uh, for example, the Cyclops uh, does correctly uh, state uh, that Stinky Feet will inflict um, uh, will inflict stop instead of shackle. Uh, which is what it used to do. So again, a lot of these like little side things seem to have been updated. Um, from what I understand, more than likely, it's just a matter of they're not really given a whole lot of uh, budget to go through and fix the whole list. So it seems like we're going to continuously keep getting updates or whatever. Um, they could just only can do them so quickly. Um, though, one thing I will add is that, yes, the AI still does not uh, use uh, debuffs at this point. Um, so I, I went ahead and tested with every debuff on the list. Uh, the uh, the casters are still unable to do that in particular. Um, whether that will be addressed or not, I don't know. Part of the reason that I think that it may be working as it is uh, might just be due to items. Uh, because technically, I please bear in mind I could be wrong in this, but as far as I can tell, when the game's looking at it, it sees every one of these tiles on the screen as just an action that can be taken, like whether you're using an item for its spell ability, whether you're using an item for its attack ability. Um, like, it just seems to be calculating how much can I do with the squares that I have on hand, you know? Um, 
And that seems to be a lot of the logic behind, uh, you know, putting a lot of things on auto skills just to kind of let the system flow a little bit. Which makes me wonder if potentially the reason that we're not seeing debuffs happening could be something along the lines of not wanting them to waste your items. Because everyone knows it's already super annoying when they go and they waste your healing items in the middle of training or something. Because technically it can't really differentiate between different types of fights. Because that's not what the whole system was originally designed to kind of be aware of, so to speak. Because the PSP version, remember, didn't have a training version. Its whole thing was just the whole like class level system was just your people training in the background this is what your party has achieved you know th it's what you have right now and in this particular case what i think is possibly happening is uh like for maybe in testing or something like that they were looking along these uh, different items and it's like oh hold on they just keep using up all my meads that is getting crazy expensive um, you know, maybe just turn off debuffs and then like they, you know, they tried turning that off and the AI was just seeing it as like, well, I can inflict breach. Um, so either way, technically, yes, then in that case you could, in theory, if this is how it works, because nobody knows exactly how the AI works, um, you know, in theory, just turn off those particular types of debuffs, but again, it's unclear. No one actually has gotten into the AI to know how it works. Um, I have gone and set up multiple different scenarios of trying to get them to use all of their debuffs, and they still currently will not do that, which makes me think that there's currently no value assigned to them internally. But either way, um, it's unclear. Uh, the AI, the way that it was set up, they do carry debuffs with them, seemingly uh, implying that they were intended to use them, um, but they don't seem to do so. It's not that we don't see debuffs at all. We still see plenty of debuffs coming out of uh, things like auto skills on monsters, things like ninjas, all of that. So it's not like in the long run, it's the biggest, most critical thing. Um, it could have simply been done to speed up the game. Again, we have no way of knowing for sure whether it was intentional or not. I've gone and tried to uh, to see if anyone uh, could potentially answer that on either Square or Mitsuno's end there. And usually the answer from Mitsuno is always like, go uh, go reach out to Square about it. And Square's answer is basically like, well, we can either add it to the update list or, you know, we can't comment on any updating changes <laughs> or upcoming changes or whatever. You know, the usual kind of stuff. So that is what it is. Um, okay, what else is possibly new here? Uh, let's see. I mean, skill-wise, I don't think anything else is really... Yeah, I haven't seen really, really much more than uh, than some of these little changes happening. Um, actually, let me see if these were updated because I forgot to check. Um, let's see, Gunnel Scream, Lingering Kiss. It is interesting that the fairy moves are also classed as dark, so it is possible that they were forced to be dark. Uh, like, it is still possible that maybe both versions of Coquettish just apply differently to different classes and might be in kind of that same category. Um, because previously they were classed as light in different instances. It doesn't matter, realistically speaking. It's not like they scale or whatever. Um, but uh, it could just be that they're just kind of in that same slot, so to speak, you know. Um, so, not 100% sure what's going on with that. Um, resistances still seem to be just Petrify and Charm. And, again, uh, something like a, I don't know, like a Resist Stun or something like that. Like, it feels like resistance-wise something more was supposed to be going on there. It's just these two in particular are probably the two least likely to even be handy, so I'm not really sure why uh, why them two are the ones that got left. But again, uh, we don't really seem to be getting a whole lot in terms of answers for that. Um, in terms of, let's see, I believe there was an update for Mighty Impact because it mentions swords and axes uh, for melee weapons. Um, I believe this might have been to help differentiate it uh, from Fall Blade, which basically does the same thing, but only for two HKs. Um, in the case of something like Tremendous Shot, it, I believe it's always mentioned bows and crossbows, but I could be wrong on that. Um, either way, uh, it mentions bows and crossbows at this point, and then the Fusil one will obviously mention Fusils, but not anything else. Uh, actually, one thing that we should check, if, uh, if it's over here, does Eagle Eye... Uh, still mention fusils. Uh, the reason that I mention this is because Eagle Eye had a holdover uh, from back when it was a um, uh, basically it was it had an overpower combined. Uh, yeah, it does not apply to fusils. It's a weird distinction. Basically, overpower um, 
like, like all ranged attacks of some description that also can be equipped by Lord seem to have that distinction of they don't apply to uh, to fusils in particular, because fusils have their own version of that stuff. And technically, I don't know why they would need a hundred percent unparryable move anyway, because they can't be parried. Which actually, now that I think about it, um, does Eagle Eye do? Yeah, Eagle Eye was mentioning that it was deflected before. Has that been updated to say parry? Out of curiosity. Um, I believe that I had that on her. Let's see, you're running in golf. That is just a straight up mistake right now. Um, let's see, all friendlies within two tiles, range attacks for 100%, prevent their attacks from being deflected. Okay, so it does still say deflected. Um, instead of being parried, I believe um, Vigorous probably mentions being parried instead of deflected, correct? Probably, maybe, I don't know. I'm going through the longest friggin' skill list that there is. Um, Mighty Strike, did it? I believe, did they add the 25% or not? It's possible that they did. Um, one thing I will note that, um, like, Golem's Bane, they added, it wasn't Golem's Bane, but I think it was Evil's Bane or something. One of the Bane skills mentioned that it increases their attack value to maximum for some reason, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. So that's whatever that is, I guess. Um, let's see. What kind of other stuff do we have going on here? Yeah, nature's power is still the same. Speed star just, you know, quickened as you'd expect. Uh, Mother's blessing uh, doubles the health restored by the next thing. I believe it might have just said that it improved healing before. Um, let's see. Yeah, Gulf is the same. Guardian force looks to be the same. Golem's bane seems to be the same. Evade. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Evade, that might be a new note on there. Note that item effects will also be affected. Um, in which case, we're going to have to check Apostate in just a moment. Um, let's see. Where's Vigorous at? I know you're in here somewhere. All right. Preempt does not apply to attacks from outside uh, weapon range. Okay, that's fine. Um, meditate it looks to be the same. Uh, there we go. It's uh, it's both of the. Huh. Okay, maybe it actually always said that. Maybe I was mixing it up with the. Uh, maybe I was mixing up Empower and Bane before. Um, but yeah, target area increases with rank. That note possibly might be new. Um, what else? Yeah, same thing for Empower Golem. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, uh, Rampart Shadow, Sanctuary Shadow, they don't mention that they have a, um, um, a, uh, uh, kind of a, what would the term be? They, they melt. They melt after, like, three rounds, so they don't have that. Spell of Shadow, Evanescence seems to be the same. Gorgon Key looks to be the same. Um. Hmm. Attack man when two one handed weapons are equipped. Okay, uh. I feel like the verbiage on that might have changed slightly, but I'm not sure. Uh, grants immunity to knockbacks, has no effect on damage taken. That one sounds the same. Uh, Rampart Aura, same thing. Halting an enemy movement up to. Okay, uh, up to an elevation. So here's a weird thing. Um, for Rampart Shadow, or, yeah, sorry, uh, for, uh, yeah, Rampart Aura, I believe this didn't mention the range thing before. Like, Sanctuary did. I don't think Rampart Aura did before, but I can't check right now. Um, that is to say, I have no way of, like, I, I don't know how I would go back to a previous patch. Um, like, on the Steam version, you could, which, as soon as I have a spare few bucks to be able to actually go get the Steam version, I will, um, you know new thinky brick and whatever, but, uh, yeah, kind of spent every penny, as it were, uh, getting the computer updated. Um, let's see. Now, does it actually mention 10 or 20%? I feel like before it didn't mention the exact percentage. I, I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, did we get any updated text on finishers? Um, these look to be the same. I kind of wish at some point they would have updated it to how One Vision handles these. Namely, that they start off with the damage type, the debuff that they do, and how many times they hit, and then bother with the flavor text. But, you know, it is what it is. 
All right, let's see if spell-wise anything is new. Um, let's see, healing... We're going to start off with this one, because I feel like... has a chance of what? I'm assuming you're going to say Light of Verse. Yes, yes, come on, scrolling te text, you can do it. And yes, the text does scroll slower in Reborn than it did in the PSP version. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think anything changed there. Did they change Starfall by any chance to mention the whole exorcism thing? Um, <laughs> draws my heart to invoke Radiance of the Stars, dealing heavy damage. It's more like medium, but okay. Um, multiple, and do we mention the exorcism thing? Has a... yeah, that's going to be light verse, isn't it? Well, that is a shame. Um, I did check some of the more niche stuff, like uh, going and checking Condemn and whatnot. Um, Condemn didn't seem to have anything new. Again, I was kind of hoping it would maybe update with, like, why the hell they have Condemn, like, why anyone would ever possibly use it, um, but didn't see anything on there. Let's see if anything has changed on the octopus here. Let's see, tree unit as if it were, uh, as if it were on water, increases movement by three, black mucus looks the same. Blue Spiral. Yes, yes. Jet that could cut through steel, except it can barely cut through anything's defense. Um, can only be used when on water. Neat. Uh, what about Poison Rain? Does it mention the poison thing? Um, yes, yes. Calling down a Toxic Rain, and I... Eventually the text will finish scrolling. Uh, has a chance to poison, I'm pretty sure is what it's going to say. Yes, okay, well, I that might be a new thing, because before it seemed like a lot of folks were completely convinced that it had no way to uh, poison, uh, even though it showed up on the UI. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, what else kind of oddly specific stuff do we have on this pile here that might maybe have been updated? Dragon's Eye, does it potentially say the whole guarantee skill thing? Um, causes special skills to hit with 100% accuracy, prevents them from being parried or deflected. I think that's new, um, but it does mention the 100% skill thing. The 100% um, uh, debuff thing is not really something that has ever been mentioned, just for the record. I uh, just kind of throw that out there. Uh, let's see, Dark Touch. So, uh, something else that's kind of interesting is that the resonance abilities, um, I've seen people come back to me several times saying that they insisted that uh, they were getting a kind of secondary hit on monster units when they were using either the resonances or in stills. I've tested this extensively. I have not seen that double hit from any monster unit type, so I'm not sure where folks are getting that from. Um, the reason that mechanically was not a thing in, like, the PSP version and presumably in this version was because, like, it's a, it's a type of buff that applies to a weapon, and they are not, they're basically, they're, they're, uh, their stats are their weapon. They don't actually have anything equipped for the weapon slot. So it has nothing to kind of scale that 25 whatever percent uh, damage off of. Um, in One Vision, for example, for the longest time they carried around weapons and any units that are uh, running boulders would still, well, were still running that for a while. I believe at this point they no longer carry boulders. Um, but either way, they have them built in and just kind of rendered invisible. So that's why it works in One Vision and why it doesn't work in, like, vanilla PSP or this one. Um, either way, so as far as I can tell, that is not a thing there. Uh, what about the pumpkin skills? Apparently these also were updated in some respect. Uh, let's go ahead and switch them over to familiar for this reason. Um, come on, Mr. Pumpkin Stofflies. Let's go see what uh, new stuff you've got. Because apparently, again, this was supposedly updated. So Crystal Pumpkin was always classed as divine. Uh, this always mentioned it had a chance to exercise, though. Let's see. HP restoring pumpkins, that is the same. Crushing damage to multiple units. Sparagmos. Uh, pumpkin bomb. Sacrifices themselves to explode. Doesn't mention about being incapacitated. Yeah, all of this... I mean, it might have had some slight updates in terms of what's labeled as what, but this doesn't feel like it's anything particularly, uh, kind of sticking out there. Um, one thing I will actually note that, uh that's kind of interesting in terms of the pumpkin there is that they also have pretty surprisingly good coverage um in an oddly specific way because uh, like for example you get uh you get wind coverage here you get fire coverage here um you get uh, both uh, dark and light uh, coverage uh, from these right here but then at the same time you like 
like let's say you swap out the uh, the pumpkin strike there because I believe pumpkin strike might have set damage or something and then you go for something like bows which then uh, gives you uh, two more elements to play around with so let's go ahead and throw that out there and then suddenly you know you have fire and lightning although technically I mean I guess blowguns might work a little bit better in their case because they're they've got more ice availability and stuff like that okay anyway I'm, I'm getting off track um because uh, yeah, ice and lightning might complement their loadout a little bit better, and then personally as water. Anyway, again, getting a little bit off track in terms of finding updates. So, uh, let's see if there's any updates in terms of items. Maybe there's something in here. Um, let's see. Let's start off with the more niche stuff. Yeah, the, these already said the effect that they did, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> let's see some notebooks, got all this stuff. What is nullify bonds? Oh, remove stop from a single target. I think this did actually officially uh, say bind shackle stop before, so that might have been updated. Uh, are any of these potentially different? Restore single zombie to its natural state. Some foul weather. <laughs> all right. I don't think we'll find very much uh, that's different on these ones right here. It's possible that we will, but I'm not seeing anything that would directly stick out. Um, like, I don't think it's going to get into any of the more kind of niche mechanics and stuff like that in terms of, like, let's say, like, capping certain percentages in certain situations. Um, let's say... what else? Maybe there's more stuff in the guide that popped up? I doubt it. Uh, level sync and items? Yeah, that's... I think I just didn't reread that in this particular instance. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think who else might have some weirdly specific skills that haven't come up yet. I guess we got you. Uh, what about reflection? Okay, reflection and or yeah, let, let's go ahead and check on reflection and um, not every tower, but uh, intercession. Let's see, cause spells to be reflected back at the caster. Okay, nothing new there. What about intercession or any of those particular variants? Uh, you're hoplite, ain't ya? Yes, you are. You've got evade. You've got your rapier glance. It does probably mention stop instead of bind or shackle, which I believe it already did. Apostate doesn't seem to have been updated. Yeah, so evade mentions about the items. Apostate, I don't think too many people ran into problems with apostate. Uh, so that doesn't seem to have been a thing. All right, well, anyway, so that'll be that. Um, let me know what else y'all guys uh, might potentially find. It Again, it seems like most of this was uh, text description uh, fixes, some very minor stuff. I, again, supposedly, maybe the crashes will stop now. Uh, that's the dream anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I haven't... Obviously, this patch has been out for like two hours, and I've mostly been driving around town, uh, driving the kids to school and such, so... Can't say I've had a whole lot of time to test whether or not the crashing thing is finally fixed, but hopefully it is. Either way, y'all have a good one. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. And yes, that uh, that shaman thing is was already done, and the audio was completely scuffed, so I had to redo it. So that'll come out at some point. Anyway, take care.